My name is William LeBant and I'm the real estate broker at Salewinds Realty. Today I'm going to go over a quick overview on um, Broker Sumo and how to access and enter in any closings that you have. For now, Broker Sumo is going to be managing our closings and it will be um, there to also provide CDAs that we can issue to title companies so that you can be paid at closing. So you can access BrokerSumo from two different routes. The first route is BrokerSumo.com, or the alternate route is our unique login, which you can see at the top of the page, and I'll also have it the link in the description as well. You'll definitely want to bookmark this and save it so that you can easily get to it without actually typing in this uh, rather long URL that they have here. But one way or another, if you do land on this page here, just be aware that if, you're, if your resolution and you have this large um, Salem's Realty image here, the login is just slightly below it. So go ahead and make sure you log in. Now, after you log in on the left hand side where you see transactions, select the down arrow there, or just click on it to open up the, the menu, then add transaction. And here we are. So if the first step here, we're going to start right from the top and work our way down. The um, first thing is we need to decide what it is that we have. What type of transaction do we have? Are we the, the listing agent? Are we the selling agent or buyer's agent? Dual has to do with, um, it's not if you're, a buyer, if you're the listing agent and the buyer's agent, dual has to do with there's multiple people involved. Don't do that even if you have a, a team. Skip that. And we have rental and then, of course, referral. We want to make sure everything gets in, loaded in here. Um, but in this case, I'm going to be the buyer's agent. Transaction status, you can put pending. And the contract price. And contract acceptance. And we'll say that the, the closing date is September, to, um, September 27th. Lead source, we don't necessarily need that. You don't have to fill that in. Now, if you're the buyer's agent or the selling agent, you won't know the listing commission, so you can skip that and you can go right over to the selling commission. So this is the commission that you will receive from the MLS, what you've agreed upon with the other agent um, or any credits or anything like that. Now, they're giving us two options here. We can load it in as a percentage or you can load it in as a flat fee. I highly, highly recommend that you load it in as a flat fee. And the reason why is in our marketplace here, it's very common whether there's a plus or a minus um, MLS fee or if there's a bonus or if there's some other sort of wacky commission structure that goes along with it. I highly recommend that you take a moment out, do the calculation, and, and go ahead and add it in. So we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll do one here quickly. We'll say it's 175000 is the sales price times 3% and then we'll say it's plus I'm sorry it's minus 299 so that gives us 4951 I'm gonna put that right here 4951 again I highly recommend that you put it in as a flat fee actually calculate it out and then um, enter in the, the dollar amount do not use a percentage um, if there's an outside company referral, you can add that in here, but for this, uh, I'm not going to go ahead and do that. Um, buyer side closing checklist, we want to select that, add that to it. Going up here in the top, uh, we'll give it a street name, so we'll call it 13 Dead and Drive. And in the city, we'll say it's Newport Ritchie, zip code 34652. Country, United States, State, Florida, Cobroke Company. Um, this would be who the other agent is. So if we're the selling agent, the buyer's agent, this would be the alternate company that it would be. Um, if you don't want to fill this in, you don't need to fill it in. We can always come back later on. Um, Cobroke agent, same thing. The buyer, well, you'd know who that is. So we'll call them Joe Buyer. If you have another buyer, you can add in the second one. So we'll call I'll we'll say it's his wife, Mary Buyer. There we are. And seller's name, either you can pull that from your contract or you can pull it from the tax record. If you have it, same process. Be sure to add in your MLS number. Um, that's just a random number that we're adding in there. Select agent. In this case, this is me. Select save. 
This will take us to our next step. And our next step is our title company. So we'll say it's Keystone Title. There we are. And look at that. It fills in all the information. Submit transaction. Takes just a moment. And, and that's it. That's all we have to do at the moment. And then as you progress along um, through it, we receive a notification. That notification notifies us that we need to start to issue a CDA, make sure that we get that approved from you, and then also send it off to the title company. We try to have that done about 10 days prior to closing. We are aware that sometimes there's, there's changes that happen at the end, and we can make and an issue a new one. Um, so uh, if you have any changes with anything, let us know. Try to keep this as up-to-date as you possibly can. If your closing dates change, be sure to change it in here. Um, follow your checklist with it. You can add some notes on the right hand side um, and you can add your documents over here. Now I'm going to go through how to upload the documents and how to add them, view them and see if you've uploaded them. I'm going to do that on another video but for now that is from start to finish how to add in a, uh, a transaction and um, um, like I said later on we'll, we'll do upload the documents um, and then also we'll, we'll talk about how to add notes and what, what's important and what we need to have in there. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below or reach out to us directly, either way. Um, and don't forget to give us a thumbs up if this helped you out. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you keep notified of all the videos that we upload. Thanks again. Have a great day.